Vincent 1989 here with another Let's Paint short. Um, these kind of Let's Paints are going to be focusing on specific areas of the model. So you may have seen the uh, robe video. Um, this one's going to be focusing on the gold on this model. So this is a question I've received on a number of forums and um, PMs and things like that. How did you paint the gold for this model? Now I've shown you before in my Let's Paint um, Galadrim Warriors um, how to paint uh, the gold that I, I use here but I did add one final step in this because it is a hero and I do want it to look even better so um, I'm going to show you how to paint the gold on this armoured Celeborn here um, again this is from the, the video where I painted the robe so you can see the robe here uh, and now we're going to move on to the armour now I'm going to show you how to paint the armour on his chest but this, uh, this would apply to any of the gold on the model so the uh, first colour we're going to use is the Sistel base coat Balthazar gold um, because I've already painted the robe um, I'm not going to use such a big brush so because this is a base coat we're going to do exactly what it says and we're going to base coat the area that we want to be gold so here he is with the base coat applied um, you can see it's nice and neat and you haven't lost any detail because we've not painted too thick a layer and what we're going to do next is we're going to apply our first wash of Celia green shade so what we're going to do is make sure the gold is fully dry before we proceed now as I've stated in my let's paint Gladrium warriors video I use the Celia green shade to give a kind of older appearance to the armour. Um, so once your base coat's dry, we're going to just do some Celia green shade, you're just going to do some Celia green shade all over the bits we've just painted. And when this is dried you'll see the armour has, you know, if we did nothing else to it, it would look really dull and really tarnished and really bit worse for wear really but obviously we're going to do some more to it so once this is dry we'll apply the next layer and uh, it'll probably take about 40 minutes for this to dry we're back now that the Celia green shade has dried and you can see that that's changed the color of the armor completely there and really darkened it down and and made it look a lot older than it, it looked in the first place now we're gonna go ahead with and do the next two stages which is two layers of uh, one of Genna's gold and one of auric armor gold what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you that on the leg plates and i'm going to do the chest plates uh, off camera Just always make sure your paint's good good even consistency um, make sure you leave some of that that green and that um, balthazar gold in the recesses Like that, so I'm just going to do the chest plates off camera. So there we go. That's the. Can't remember these names. That's the Genna's gold done. And now we're going to do a fine highlight of auric armor gold. Again, make sure it's shaken up nicely, so that all the pigments um, mixed in properly. Uh, get a nice. Add water to your paint so it's good consistency. Uh, you could use Lamy and medium. Uh, I'll just use water. And then same again, same areas again. Um, just leave some of that. Just leave some of that Genna's gold in towards the recesses. When you're painting, sorry, I said I was going to do the chest. I said I was going to do the chest armor off camera, but I think it's worth mentioning when you're painting the chest armor, try not to put the lighter colors down this bit here. Try and center them down the center of the model, so that you're leaving more Genners here than you would do say here. That's because there's much more shadow where the robe meets the armor. That draws the focus of someone who's viewing your model into the 
into the center line rather than down into these sort of gaps into the recesses here. Much happy with that. And once that's dry, which is actually fairly quickly, we're going to go on to the next stage, which is um, some Agrax air shade. And you're going to apply this in a fairly thin layer across all the gold we've just painted. Um, don't just paint it in the recesses, do paint it across the whole area. This is just to help blend that gold in together. So that again will take a little while to dry, but you can see it's really coming along nicely. You've got a lot of depth in there. Um, there's quite sharp contrast between the, the deepest areas and the ra most raised areas. So try and get it actually focused. There we go. You can see that there. So again, hopefully that will take about 30 minutes to dry out fully. Um, this is the longest part because once that's dried out fully you'll be applying Celia Green Shade and again waiting half an hour. That's why it's good to have two or three or even ten models on the go at one time. So now the Agrax Air Shade is dry, it's time for the Celia Green Shade. And um, we're applying it in the exact same way as we applied the Agrax Air Shade to the whole of the areas we've already painted gold. Not too thick a coat. So that's dry, we'll come back to you. Now that that's dry, we're going to <coughs> highlight it up again using Orikama Gold and our fine detail brush. Again, we're just trying to pick out less of the armour than we picked out the last time. <coughs> just so the highlights get finer and finer. Once you're happy with that, um, you can move on to the next stage. <coughs> Off, which is um, again Orikama Gold. I'll bring the mixing palette on here. Um, there. And a, a small amount of Rune Fang Steel. Now, some people might just use straight Rune Fang Steel, but I think that's too sharp. But you have to be careful with it because it will overpower the gold very quickly. And then again, as with the, the Orikama you've just put on, you just want it at the very edges. You could stop there and you'd have quite a nice uh, nice gold but to give it a bit more of a, a ready finish this one final stage and I forgot to mention that colour right at the beginning but it is um, Reichland Flesh Shade which I bought in while I was out for the run. Um, now the Reichland Flesh Shade has quite a ready colour and it's called a flesh shade because you meant to to use it on flesh. In fact, I very rarely use it on flesh because I actually find the colours far too fine a colour. You don't, you really don't want to use a lot of this. That's it in terms of painting. I do um, apply Vallejo's paint on matte varnish when this is all finished. So here's Kellerborn with the uh, the gold droid, and you can see he's got nice, nice shiny armor. There's lots of depth, lots of different color variations in there. And uh, when we put him next to Glorfindel, although Glorfindel's got a few more colors, the gold's fairly similar. Obviously, once you get things like the silver on, that will really brighten up the gold. That's how I do the gold. And obviously, check out my other video to see how I do the cape. And uh, if you like these videos, please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.